Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 30th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have had a fairly good week and Monday rallied, uh, Tuesday also rallied. And we are approaching a very interesting level, which is basically the 50 and moving average at uh, 37,000. Uh, and 500 give or take so 37 uh, 37k is basically where we will test now and if that breaks then we could go to the top of the balloon channel which is at 40k and that is uh, where we'll most likely run into massive resistant we are still trading within this square where we have the 30 40 sorry k acting as resistant and at the lows here, very lows at the 27, uh, 28K. So if we break above here, then we are going to test the 200 moving average. And to break above the 200 moving average, then we could be looking at 50. However, if we get rejected here, then we could drop all the way back towards 20K. And then it will be more likely that we'll drop towards the 25 and 20K if we were to get rejected here. So... Uh, that is going to be interesting to see what, what happens basically in tomorrow's session. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is still uh, negative territory, but it's bullish. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish at this point, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum has broken above the 20 exponential. That is also very interesting, but we are still in the early stage of whether or not we are going to see this rally to the upside or this is just a um, rally that will be sold into we have seen it here and we saw it also here and at the moment if we manage to break above the 50 moving average then we could be heading towards 3000 and then beyond that otherwise break down from here i will almost guarantee that we'll test the 200 moving average again and probably also break below the 200 moving average if you look at the technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is a bullish and negative territory. We have the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So break below the 200 moving average and these previous candlesticks here, then we could drop towards 1500 and 1000. And uh, if we rally above the 50 moving average, then we could head back towards 3000. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano is... Um, also testing the middle of the Bollinger Band. And uh, if we get rejected here, then we could drop back towards the 200 moving average. If we rally, then we could go and test the 50 moving average up here at uh, 1.55. And the break above that, then we could head back towards $2. We'll still have to test uh, these previous highs here, which is around uh, 1.7, 1.8. .7, and that will be the massive hurdle. We tested it roughly three times here and got rejected every single time and then we started breaking down so this could be basically build up for momentum to go higher or we will just get rejected here and then we'll drop back to the 200 moving average if we break the 200 moving average then we are more likely going to drop to um, 0 0.50 so if you look at technical indicators for uh, cardano we can see the macd is a bullish stochastic is bullish cci is barely bullish just at two at this point and the RSI is also bullish. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin has not managed to break above the 20 exponential. And uh, we have a crossing here of the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. If we were to break above the 20 exponential, then we'll most likely go and target the 50. Um, if, but uh, at this point, it is more likely that we'll get rejected here than, than fall down. This does not look very bullish uh, uh, compared to, uh, for example, uh, Bitcoin and also compared to, to Ethereum. So if Bitcoin basically falls and uh, that will basically drag everything with it. So um, just keep that in, in mind. This has been rejected at the 20 you can see it here here and also now we have not managed to break about the 20 a rejection here could drop this back to 100 and a break of 100 could drop this down to 50. if you look at technical indicators they are well not very bullish stochastic now macd has crossed this line but it's still in negative territory 
the casting is uh, bullish and our, our CCI is bearish and the RSI is kind of flat at this current stage. So let's look at NEO. So NEO has not managed to break above the 20 exponential. The 50 moving average is racing towards the 200. Indicating uh, crossing of these two is a very usually a very bearish signal and uh, may cause this to drop further. If we drop below the 20 to $25 level, then we'll most likely drop to 20 and then beyond that and probably go back towards the previous lows down here at the 10 to $15 range, give or take. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, becoming bullish. The stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. If we manage to break above the 20 exponential, then we have the 200 just above at the 46 and the 50 moving average at the 53. That looks like a very, very long way up towards those moving averages. So yes, let's look at Dash. So Dash, very similar to Litecoin and also on, on NEO. It has been rejected at the 20 here, here, and has not managed to break above the 20. We did test it today, but it broke down, and now we're opening in green. And uh, the question is whether or not we just get rejected, roll over, and head back towards the very lows here of roughly 100. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the CASIC is bullish, CCI is uh, bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. We have a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average which usually is a very negative signal. Last time we had a crossing is back over here, and that's when we started rallying to the upside. So we may see the opposite happen here. So let's look at Dogecoin. So everybody was talking about this uh, only a few uh, weeks ago, and now nobody's talking about it. And usually that is not a very good sign. Uh, so it was, uh, it was, uh, well, pumped all the way up towards 0 0.73 and then completely dumped. It has not managed to break above the 20 exponential or the middle of the bullish band. And if you get rejected here again, then we'll most likely drop back towards the 200 moving average at 0 0.15. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is basically flat. Stochastic is bullish. CCI, uh, CCI is uh, bearish and so and the RSI is basically flat. Uh, we have the 50 moving average moving this way, 200 this way. Probably in the next two or three weeks, we'll have a crossing of those moving average, and that will most likely drop this even further. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.